So today I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your MacBook Pro Retina display. And now the first thing you're going to have to do is go to your settings. Now from here, you want to uncheck iCloud Drive. Then you want to click on remove from Mac. Now doing this is going to remove all the passwords and everything out of this MacBook Pro. Now after you've done that, go to sign out. From here, if you want to keep any of these copies of your contacts or calendars to your iCloud account, you could check those. But if you don't want to copy, then just uncheck everything. Then click continue. Now from here, all the Safari passwords that's on this Mac, you want to delete from this Mac because you don't want none of those passwords inside this MacBook Pro. Put your password in. If I click on next, it's pretty much signed out from here. So you want to exit out. Now from here, you want to restart your computer. So you want to go to the um, Apple logo right here on the top. Then you want to click on restart. As soon as I click on the restart button, when the keyboard backlight turns off and the screen goes black, then you want to click on the command and you want to click on the R key at the same exact time. So you want to click on restart. And as soon as the keyboard light turns off, click on the command and R key at the same exact time. Now keep on holding it until you see the Apple logo and the loading bar. As soon as you see the Apple logo and the loading bar, then you want to let go. Now after 30 to 40 seconds, it's going to take you to this screen right here. Okay, now from here, you want to click on disk utility. Then on the top corner, you can have these options and then you want to click on show all devices. Now from here, you're going to see your Apple SSD. This you're going to have to leave alone. Right beneath it, you're going to see your container disks too. Now this is the disk you're going to have to delete. Um, if you go to Macintosh right under it, you cannot delete this one. This one, you leave it alone. And the disk right above it, um, this is the disk you want to delete. So I want to click on erase. And right below it, you're going to see format and you want to click on Mac OS extended journal. Um, if you want to give a different name to your, to your disk drive, you can, then I'm going to click on erase. This should take a couple of seconds. All right. Now after 20 to 25 seconds, it's going to say complete. And then from here, you want to click on done. Then you want to exit out. Now from here, you're going to have to click on reinstall macOS. Now in order to install your macOS, you're going to need to be connected to your internet or Wi-Fi. Then you want to click on continue. Want to click on agree. Uh, click agree again. And this is your SSD that you're going to install the macOS to. So you want to click on install. Now from here, just give it some time. Now after 20 minutes, this screen will pop up. Now from here, just let it load up all the way. Now after another 20 minutes, with 40 minutes being in total, it's going to take you to the welcome screen. And from here, you can set up your MacBook Pro as if you got it brand new out of the box. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this video helped you out. And if it did, like and subscribe. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.